GT Gamer is proudly sponsored by Into the AM. For high quality, affordable and unique clothing, follow the link in the description and use discount code GTGamerOfficial at checkout for 10% off. What's up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome to Train Simulator 2018. I had the predecessor to this game, Train Simulator 2017 and people seem to like it so I thought you know what why not bring it back it was cheap on Steam I saw it and I thought yeah it'd be cool to try it so without further ado let's get in the cab and set the train up and I'm gonna warn you in advance I'm not a train driver I don't know that much about trains so to make this easier I'm putting the HUD on um, headlights I can never remember which one it is God damn it, it's annoying how you change view in here. I'm using a controller to drive and to look around, so not the most amount of controls ever. So I have to use the keyboard periodically. Is that the light we use or is there a better one? That one. I want that one. That's very, very bright. Eh, the axis are inverted. Yeah, that's fine. Um, oh, I need to let the passengers on. That's kind of important. So we're at San Jose Diridon, Diridon, I believe you pronounce that, and we're going north bank to San Francisco, the famous San Francisco. I don't think we're going to see the bridge, not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure we're not going to see it. Um, and we're basically going to stop at any stops along the way that we pass, assuming I have time to stop. <laughs> That's pretty much how this is going to work. I'm not like... A serious simulator buff. The doors are shut, we can get going now. But I am kind of, I like to just chill and this is basically my game I fall back on if I want to just chill and have a chat and tell you guys stuff. Like, Ooh, look, there's another train. So the speed limit at the moment is 20. Oh god, that's quite slow. Uh, until we get out of the station. One thing it is quite important to mention, and this is kind of an oversight. I cannot read American signals. Uh, honestly, I don't know what they mean. I know that they have, like you can see on the signals up there, that there's a green and a red, so that means we have a green light. But they usually, depending on the orientation of the color, they usually mean something, but I don't know what. So if the emergency brake gets activated, it's because I can't read the signals. It's as simple as that. That I don't know what that flashing yellow and two reds means for a start. Um, so yeah, that's cool. Okay, uh, we're probably gonna die. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your train driver speaking. We are on our way to San Francisco. Please brace in case we die at any moment. Thank you. But yeah, I, I literally, I don't know the signals, which is probably not a good thing. I am speeding like a motherfucker as well, holy shit. Let's use my engine brake to slow down. That's something I wouldn't normally do. It's not the most effective brake in the world at low speed, as you guys can probably tell. 21, come on. Come on, slow down. Right, there, it should stop the speeding alert now. Awesome. Oh wow, that's a big depot. That's the Caltrain depot. We are on a Caltrain, in case you can't read. I'm uh, pretty sure that's just like Amtrak, but it's just for California, something like that. Those lights are very, very bright over there. One thing I don't really understand, which I found odd when I bought this game, when I logged on, I was driving and I was thinking, God, that's very, very low definition. For some reason, the standard definition in this game is only 720. And there's some horrible aliasing going on on the tracks there. Like, I got a GTX 1080 Ti. 720 is just, I don't need that. So I'm not quite sure why I did that. Right, we can accelerate now. That's the issue, I don't really pay attention very much, so I probably will end up speeding a lot or going a lot slower than the speed limit, that's just how it rolls. And I'll probably end up blowing through a signal. Right. So there's that depot we was just at. 
and we've got quite a long journey and that is our destination San Francisco track 9 oh well oh, I don't know what that sound was okay is what I meant to say Jesus Christ and I'm speeding again obviously why not come on slow down be a good train and slow down but the engine brake's quite effective if you put it on full, I guess. One thing I don't like is how you have to scroll through all the different camera angles to get the one you want. On controller, that is. On keyboard, you can just press the numbers, but I don't know which one is which. So I prefer to just use controller. It's also a bit annoying how there's no zoom out function. You have to use the arrow keys. That's why the mace is appearing when I do that. Oh, there's a station coming up. Eh, why, why you do this? My camera's being weird. Right, I need to zoom back in. How fast are we going? 38, we can stop. Okay, I'm stopping at this station. I'm just gonna go mild engine brake for now. Santa Clara track two. I don't actually know where San Jose is. I think it's like sort of halfway between San Francisco and LA maybe. I'm not 100% sure. There's another train there. So yeah, on this game you get three routes as standard and then you have to pay an arm and a leg for whatever else you want. Ugh, I can't get my camera quite right, there you go. Um, you get the North Wales Coastal, which comes with a Virgin Class 221 and a Concordia, which is a Class 175. Uh, you get some German route, which my chance of pronouncing that correctly is zero, so I'm not going to try. And you get this route, which is San Jose Dur Duridian, Doridon, something like that. Duridon, I think, to San Francisco. And one thing I would like to see is like more content for this game as standard, because it's not a cheap game. I paid 12 quid for it and that was half price so it's about 25 quid and I reckon you should get like four or five routes for that like I understand that they need to make money but I still think that's a little bit of a rub off you do get a fair amount of trains though I will give it that right, I'm gonna use the actual brakes now I don't think we're gonna stop actually damn it full brake eh, that's almost emergency brake Shit, I think I overdid it with the brakes. Now have I released the brakes? Come on, release. Uh, are we in? No, we're not in. Gotta keep going. Sorry. Hold lapped. I don't know what that meant. Come on, train. Pull forwards. Just a tad. I really messed up the brake in here. I'm trying not to make it obvious. I think we're in think. Okay, let's just apply a little bit of brake. Oh, that's cool. Those steps going down. That's in Oh, wow. It looks even better over there. That's actually quite an interesting design. I like that. What's over there? A warehouse. I really need to remember that the axes are inverted on this controller. Why are you not stopping? I want you to stop there. And now let the passengers on and off. Right, passengers are all on, let's get going. So I need to release the brake and apply some throttle. Speed limit is 79, so I'm just going to give it full throttle and hope that it doesn't wheel spin. It looks like it's handling it. What you got to remember, the trains have a lot of power and are very, very heavy and very big. Like seriously, American trains are absolutely enormous. I saw a picture before where it was like a comparison of a um, Class 66, which is a British freight train, and a, um, a just a standard American freight train, like a BNSF or something. It was huge. <laughs> like, in Britain, I, I, sh I know this, I live next to the South Wales train tracks. You, an average freight train is like, what, 150, 200 metres long? In America, they're like up to 30,000 feet long, if not more which is just bonkers but I, I do get it because 
the UK is a small country, so there's not that much demand to move millions of tons of goods from one place to another. It's cheaper to have smaller trains delivering more often. But in like the United States, where it's a huge country, same with Australia and Canada, it's cheaper to just, that was an alarm, I don't know what that was for. Yeah, it's cheaper to just put everything you need for the next six months on a train and haul that big boy over to the other end of the country where it needs to go. So I do understand it, but they're still like crazy big. Oh, I just found the zoom button. That's cool. That light's green, I think. If I say anything about a signal colour, just take it with a pinch of salt because I don't know what I'm talking about. We've got 43 miles left to go and an ETA of 8.30, so just under an hour. Okay, it'll probably be a little bit longer than that because that's just like if we're obeying the speed limit, we are going to be stopping at stations and stuff, so that'll add a bit of time to it. I do like that speedometer though, that's pretty cool, like the LED speedometer. I don't know why it says penalty at the bottom of it. That's like, I believe that is how much power, oh, another alarm, I don't know what that is, I'm just cancelling it. That's like power, too much power is in the red after the green, and then how much brake you're applying, like the engine amps, brakes, don't know how to read it, yeah, whatever, brake main reservoir, I don't know, where are we going? Eh, yeah, we're good. Just a big ass corner coming up. And then we got some lights here, I think. Sand, halts rear, blah, blah, blah. Ooh, bell. Can we press that? I want to press it. Ooh, we have a bell. Oh, I like it. I want to see if it does the flashy lights thing on the front. Ah, uh, I don't know how to turn that off. Now. Oh, that, yeah, I do. That's cool. Right, we're approaching the speed limit now. Never train. Why did I go inside view for that? Hello, never train. Oh, we're about to speed. Uh, and, and throttle. Down throttle. Be a down throttle. Perfect. Just caught it. I hope the speed limit's not just 79 all the way there. That would be a bit crap, because that means I don't have to do anything. Just cruise control all the way through. We're passing Lawrence now, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I forgot something. I've not been honking at level crossings. I need to do that. And through stations. That's kind of like a thing in America where you always honk at a level crossing or a station. Because then that means that people should hear you come in, so if you die, it's your own fault. At least I think that's what that means. Oh, we've got a station coming up. Um, start braking. Actually, no, I'm going to start braking one, exactly one mile out and see how that works. We're going to try it. So, 1.3. If I apply a certain amount of brake, one mile... Ooh, okay exactly one mile out and it stops us in time, I know how to stop then. 1.6, 1.05, 2, yeah, full break. Not full, but sort of like half. Let's try half break. And then the brake magic dials move. Not an expert, just gonna declare that now. Not a train buff. If you wanted a realistic train driving scenario, you've come to the wrong place. Um, okay, that was way too much brake, apparently. Damn, the brakes are good on this. Oh, wow, I'm going to have to actually accelerate. Holy crap, I was not expecting to brake that fast. Wow. Learn something new every day. Oh, wow, it was quite in the cabin. Ooh, truck. Those are, like, the best brakes I've ever seen on a train. Had to clear my throat and <laughs> have a bit of coffee. That's how you do it. If you ever record a video, always have a, a bit of coffee on hand. It helps. This is a nice area. Assuming it actually looks like this in real life. 
Oh, I, I really would like to go to California one day. I've heard that it's full of crackheads and junkies, but I don't know, I'd like to see it for myself. Level crossing. One. Two. Small honk. Three. And hold it until you're on the crossing. That's how they do it. Why is there just a random bit of track there that goes nowhere? Okay, that's odd. Whatever. Oh, brakes. I always forget which button the brakes are. Uh, we're gonna stop. I doubt it. Come on, stop. Slow down, please. I want you to a stop. I'll release the brakes a little bit. And just coast into the station. No, stop too early. Damn, the brakes are good on this train. Like, genuinely. Come on, move. Move forwards. There you go. Just pull forwards enough that the back's not hanging out. Eh, those trees are annoying. And stop there. Don't know how to check if the back's in. Why are you not stopping now, train? Behave. There, perfect. And let the peoples on and off. That looked cool. And then there's the back end of the train. Right, let's get back in the gap. I just thought I'd do something different on the way out of that station. Right, I don't know what our next stop is. I don't even know where anything in California is, pretty much. But I really would like to go there one day. Oh, look at those. Yeah, New York taxis. Crown Victorias. Do they actually use them? Is that like a cliché film thing, or, or a Crown Victoria's that common in real life? That's something I'd quite like to know, actually. I don't know if... Ooh, we've got a honk coming up. One... Two... Small honk. And big honk! Thank you! And now nobody dies. Hashtag road safety. Yeah, a Crown Victoria is actually that common in real life. I'd like to know that because they're in every single film. Oh, we got another station coming up. They're in every film. Every cop drives either a Crown Victoria or a 4x4. Every taxi driver is a Crown Victoria or a 4x4. It's just. I don't know. It seems to me like it's massively overplayed, but it could well be that everyone just drives a Crown Vic in the States. There's another taxi off to our right, and uh, I'm not. I'm going to start breaking a mile out again, but I'm going to do less breaks and see how that works out. So that's a better mile there. So if I reduce the throttle oh, and go, last time I was 50%. I'm going to try 27% now. See how that works out. Ooh. I think these are like tram tracks to it, right? I'm not 100% sure. They're electric, whatever they are. Right, let's just see if this works out slightly better. I know. I'm not 100% sure it's going to stop in time. Let's see. We are on a 0.5% downhill gradient, which is mm, a little bit steep, I guess. Come on, maintain view track, be our lucky, no, we're not going to stop. Ooh, wrong thing. More break. 34%, try that. I don't think we're going to stop. Oh, please stop. Please, 50% break. 
Honk twice coming into a station, that was very late. Are we gonna stop? Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna do it? This is tense. Are we gonna do it? Alright, start releasing the brakes now. It takes a very long time for them to release. I just want to cruise at like 5 miles an hour further down into the station. That was almost perfect actually. Right, and start braking. Oop, that's accelerate. Start braking now. See how this works out. Perfect. Ah, oh, nailed it. I am happy with that. Let the passengers on and off. Oh yeah. That I'm actually really impressed with that. That was quite a good stop. Something unusual I just spotted, well I spotted it at the station before this to be honest. If you're in like the free cam where you can just place it and watch the train go by, you can't actually accelerate. You can brake, you can use the engine brake, you can release the brakes but you can't accelerate and move the throttle forwards. Not entirely sure if that's an oversight or what, but it seems odd to me. You have to use the keyboard to accelerate. On a controller it's just like nope. Oh, we've got another station coming up. San Antonio. There's a lot more stations than I thought there would be. Oh, God. How far out are we? 35 miles. Um, I guess we should stop at San Antonio. I think that's, like, quite a big city, town. I don't know. Not an expert. Um, yeah, we probably should stop there. So, if I start reducing throttle now... And just put it on like a little bit of brake, like 27% again. We're at slower speed, so it might work a bit better. Hopefully, this will stop as well. <laughs> I just had a um, parcel arrive today, which was pretty cool. A hoodie. I got it off uh, my sponsor actually into the AM. I, I really like this stuff. That's pretty much what got me onto it. One of my friends is sponsored by them, Chris. Chris and Shan. He's a uh, YouTuber. And uh, I know him in real life. He's pretty... He's, he's a cool guy. And he, he was wearing this hoodie once. I was like, oh wow, that's a nice hoodie. Where'd you get that from? And he just gave me his car. He's like, oh, they uh, sponsor me. So why don't you uh, check them out? And I like them so much. I bought some. And then when I started doing YouTube, I was like, you know what? Let, let's just see it, if they would sponsor me. I was expecting them to be like, no, you're not big enough or anything. And he's like, yeah, sure, here's your discount code. And uh, if you put this on your channel, sure, you can, we'll sponsor you and you can get money if people buy stuff. I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. So now, as a result of that, I got about 50 hoodies. And uh, they're all really bright colours. They're really cool. I like them. I know my friend Joe's bought some. And I think another person bought one using my discount code. But if you, um, if you want to have a look at them... The link's in the description, it's into the AM, and just use the discount code GTGamerOfficial, capital letters, all one word, and you get 10% off, off at uh, checkout. And it is pretty good stuff, it's, um, they do all sorts, there's like, galaxies, and it's like really elaborate but cool designs, I like them personally. I don't know, it might not be your cup of tea, but it's still worth checking out. Those stairs are quite cool under the track. Um, break. That would be a good idea. Why did I release the brakes? I'm not actually sure. What's that ramp going up over the top? Is that for like disabled people or is that an on-ramp for the highway? It's kind of hard to tell. Oh, I need to brake more. Eh, emergency brake. My emergency brake's on. That's not good. Damn it, I jammed the brakes. Okay, I think that might be a design error because that just goes straight into a guardrail. I think it's meant to be an on-ramp for the highway. 
there just isn't that ramp thing. Oh well, doesn't matter. I don't know how to release the emergency brakes. Are they released? I'm not sure. The only way we'll know is when we try and pull off, so let's let the passengers on and off and see. Right, the moment of truth. Have I screwed the brakes up? Come on. Oh, no, no, it's working. Yay! I had actually, like, a real big problem when I was doing, like, a test run of this in San Francisco just to see how the train works, and I went through a red light and the brakes jammed, and I, I le could not get them to come back off again for ages. It took forever. And there's another off ramp which goes straight into a barrier. Don't use this highway, guys. It's how you die. I think that's just a minor oversight, but still. Wow, this train's loud. And an arrow straight bit of track. I thought that was a red light then, but it's two reds and a green, which means green, I think. No idea. After honk for these crossings, one. It did say X2, which I think means times two crossings, so they might. Yeah, there's another one in the distance by there. And one big honk. That's a big truck. And then I think we have to immediately start doing it for the next crossing. One. Two. It is a cool system because you can see how far out the train is by the honks. Little one, and then one really long one as we go over the crossing. It just lets people know where the train is relative to the crossing, which is cool. We don't have anything like that in the UK, but then most of our level crossings, or railroad crossings, whatever you want to call them, we call them level crossings, are um, automated, so there's like barriers and stuff that come down. And if you get killed, then don't be an idiot, pretty much. Right, start breaking for California Avenue. Uh, let's go with 20% braking. Actually, no, I don't think that works. Let's go 23%. And let's see if that stops us okay. I cut out some of that journey then because it was literally a dead straight line with nothing interesting. That was just an arrow straight bit of track. I can show you on the map, actually, if I send the player. Yeah, just arrow straight. Oh wow, there's a lot of stops. I think we might skip a few stops, because all these green marks on the tracks, they're stops. What I'm going to do, I'm going to look at the name, and if it's a name I recognise, it's like a big town, I'm going to stop at them. If not, then I'm not, because I didn't realise how many stops there were. Let's just put it like that. Uh, let's increase the brake in a bit, I think. 30%. So yeah, this is going to be the last stop we stop at unless I see like a major stop. What's that? Is that a storm drain? No, that's a road. That's another thing we don't have in the UK, storm drains. We don't really need them. We don't get flash floods. And if we do, then it's mainly the rivers that get affected. And they're pretty much natural storm drains. We really need to break more. No, not going to stop. Full brakes without going into emergency braking. Ooh, just slightly overshot the platform. You know what? It's good enough. Passengers off. Okay, I decided, and I know someone's going to point out that this is not entirely realistic, but I don't care. We're not going to stop at any more stations now until San Francisco 22nd Street, which is the last station before San Francisco Station simply because I don't want this video to be 25 million hours long. Like, our ETA is already slipping back to 8.40, so that's like 35 minutes away. So I don't want to just be constantly stopping at stations. So we're going to do like a straight run straight into San Francisco, and then we're going to stop at the very last but one station, 22nd Street, because I think that is a major station, and then go straight into San Francisco. Simply because I don't want to bore you guys to death, and I don't want to bore myself to death. I do like playing this game, but there is a point where you're just like, okay, this is getting a bit repetitive now. Yeah, what do I think of it so far, this game? I like it. The biggest thing for me, and I understand why they did it, but it's still a little bit meh. I had Train Simulator 2017. This is Train Simulator 2018. This, like, no difference. Like, I can't notice anything so major that it's like, oh, this is an entirely different game. They had to rewrite the entire script to fit that in. It seems to me that all they did is just get Train Simulator 2017 
the, like the interface off it, which I didn't like that much as it was, and then just put some different routes in instead. And, I don't know, that just seems a bit cheap to me. I don't like that, we got a station cutter, so it's hung twice going through a station, I believe. One, two, just so people know you're there, and then put the bell on. Thank you, don't jump. Be safe, don't jump in front of trains. Bell off. But yeah, it's, it just seems a little bit cheap. Like, I know that someone's gonna argue like, oh, if you want a different game, buy Train Sim World. And yeah, that's true, but then... That's like... It's... It's a good point, but then, if that's so radical, why did they even bother to make Train Sim 2018? Why didn't they just bring out, like, Train Sim World 2? Or something like that? And... It, it does, as I said, it just sounds like a cheap and easy way of making money to me. And then, if you want to build onto this game, it's like 20, 20 odd quid just for a simple add-on. And it just, it doesn't seem right to me. Level crossing coming up, and then a bridge, that's pretty cool. That's a nice bridge. But yeah, I would like to see some variation. And one of my biggest criticisms of Train sim Simulator is the menus are not the most intuitive. Like, let me give you an example. If I pause it quickly and go to options, usually you get, like, um, settings, graphics, audio. In this, you just get HUD and opacity. That's it. I would like to see more controls, like, you can control things more. And, like, for example, you could change the aliasing while you're on a route. And you could change your... I don't know, just change the volume, for example. But you can't seem to do that in this game, and I don't know, I just don't think that's right. I missed honking then. I was meant to honk. Oh well. Right, we can s stop accelerating so much now. But yeah, that's my criticism of Train Simulator 2018 and 2017. Pretty much all the Train Simulators. They need to have more control. And, um... Yeah, it's... The menus are not the best. It's not the most amazing game I've ever played when it comes to the interface and all that. Like, detail-wise, yeah, it's a good game. If you want realistic train simulator, it's a realistic train simulator. But it's, like, kind of halfway between trains and train sim world. So that, I think, would be my personal opinion on it. And as for Train Sim World, that's like, it is pretty expensive. It's a pretty expensive game last time I checked. And honestly, there's just not that many routes for it. And you have to pay for every single route, which again, I can see why they did that, because it's not cheap to make an open world route. But I just feel you should get more for your money. Like, even for this game, add-ons are like, just for a single locomotive, it's like 20 quid. 20 pounds, I don't know what that is in dollars. It's quite expensive. This should be more as part of just the game, I feel. But then, as I said, that's just my opinion. I lost track of hogging at stations and level crosses. I've just been pressing the horn every now and again. That's great. Uh, and that's why you don't play games and commentate, ladies and gentlemen. Because you very, very slowly lose your mind. It's great. I have no idea where we are. Redwood City. Okay, whatever that is. Oh, that's interesting. So 25% throttle holds your speed. So I'm going to get up to about 78, 79, and then go 25% throttle and see if that holds my speed. That's interesting. Right, we've got another honky honk sign coming up. That's what that little thing on the HUD down below is, is showing you where to honk. Like that symbol which looks a bit like a cartoon horn. If you live by there, you get so fed up with the trains honking every time they pass. And I don't actually know the etiquette if there's two level crossings right next to each other like that. I'm just going to assume that you just keep the horn down. That's all there really you can do. 
Sorry, and I'm gonna deafen you guys, but I need to horn. <laughs> Perfect, and then there's another crossing coming up. Holy shit, there's a lot of level crossings in California. Why did my mouse just randomly appear? God, all this is is just me honking. And again. Hello, thanks truck, first time. Ooh, cement mixer. That's different. Uh, 79 miles now, yep, I know. Right, I think that's the end of the level crossings for now. Coming up on San Carlos. Whatever that means, wherever that is. We got another train coming in the opposite direction. Right, let's see if 25% throttle holds us. I'm actually interested to see that, because it'll make it a lot easier for me. That's another thing I noticed with this game. The draw distance is far, like, well, relatively far for a small game. However, oh my god, this is a freight train, that's cool. I haven't seen a freight train yet. Nope, come on. Uh, freight trains are not that short in the States. Oh well, that was still pretty cool. Yeah, the draw distance is not the best, like that hill over there. It draw the hill pretty, it drew the hill pretty good, but it's just a cartoon hell. There's no trees or anything on it, and there's not gonna be for a while, probably. That seems like a very steep bit of track by there, coming off the side. That's gotta be like 30 degrees. I don't know what they expect trains to use that for. I doubt a train would actually start on that hill. Oh, that's a stop. And I changed the head. That's not good. That's a really cool station, though, the way it's elevated. Ooh, and it's got a bridge at the end. That's pretty cool. Coming up on Belmont. I hope you guys like that little montage I put together for you. I didn't want this to last like forever, so I thought I'd edit a little bit of the journey out. And I just thought I'd give you guys something to look at other than just edit out a random part of the journey. So, uh, I miss honk this. I've never thought I'd say that. I miss honk this. <laughs> Sexual assault case coming my way, that sounds like. Anyway, yeah, I thought I'd put a little montage together for you guys instead of just editing out random parts of the video. I thought that would be a cool thing to do. Right, I need to honk again. There is a level crossing somewhere. There it is. And warn the people in the station that I'm coming. Hello! Well. Right around this corner. How far are we? We're 18.75 miles out. Coming up to San Mateo. San Mateo looks nice. I really would like to live in a... Ah, I keep forgetting that's the map button, not the change camera button. I really would like to live in a place like this, honestly. It does look quite nice. Honestly, I've always said that my dream... If I won the lottery... That is a lot of level crossings coming up. If I won the lottery, what I would do is just buy a little log cabin in Canada, install super fast internet, and I'd have like a view in the Rockies overlooking a lake. That would be so cool. Like that is honestly just a dream. That's what I'd do if I buy if I won the archery. I'd also buy a GTR. Just because that is my dream car. That was a lot of level crossings. Hello former Caltrain. <laughs> Whatever. 
I like the amount of AI in Train Simulator 2018. It's more realistic, because in other games, it was just like, here's a random train. Some routes didn't even have trains at all. So it is nice to see a lot more AI trains. And there's a better variation, I find, because on a lot of routes, it was just like one train. Here, you have freight trains and passenger trains, which is cool. God, I can't believe the amount of railroad crossings there are. Like, seriously. Look, there's three in a row here within like 100 and, like 200 meters of each other. So now I'm just going to hold the horn down across all of them and put the bell on, because why not? Sorry, people in the station that's now gone death. <laughs> Berling, Berling game, I believe that's pronounced. Berling game track one. So many crossings, Jesus Christ! I can hardly hear myself think because the amount of honking I have to do. Oh my God, I'm speeding. That's not good. No, decelerate. Be a good train and decelerate, and then go. Oh God, there's a level crossing. That's not how you're meant to honk, but I don't care. <laughs> oh, we got a speed deduction coming up of four miles an hour. Okay, whatever. Well, if I just take the throttle off, it should just coast down to that note, my engine brake. Just use the bell to alert people. I don't want to make everyone at the stations go deaf. Right, that's good. Coming up on the 75 mile an hour zone now. And this is a, probably for a curve or something, I would have thought. And we're coming up on Milbrae Platform 4A. Uh, please don't tell me that light's red. No, that's facing the other way. Thank goodness for that. Really don't want a red light violation. That is just... That's how you end your career right there. Yes, for a curve for 75 mile an hour speed limit. So if I go back up to 37%, by the time it hits 75, we should have cleared this corner in my mind. That's how it works. Oh wow, that's a cool bridge. Come on, outside camera. There you go. Oh, it looked a lot cooler from inside. Ah, oh, it's that I was looking at behind. Wow, this is a big station. I probably should have stopped here. But I've never even heard of Milbrae. Milbrae station. I've never heard of that. Okay, whatever. Ooh, what's that? Is that like a power station? Yeah, it is. That's cool. It is nice to have a game where you can just relax and look at the scenery. I do like that. It's amazing the amount of time and effort that was put into making a game like this, like the roots. Because someone had to sit there and place all of these trees one by one, and these houses, and then someone else had to sit there and model these trees and these houses. And then someone had to plot the roots for the cars and all that. It is a lot of work. Like, hats off to the developer. Like, I used to have Trains 2006, it was like one of the first PC games I had, my laptop ran out of 4 frames a second, yeah, I know, and, uh, ooh, an airport, I wonder what airport that is, someone comment let me know what airport that is, that's cool, I can't see the plane, that looks like a 757 to me, or 767, I don't know, but yeah, I had Trains 2006 and that had like a really intuitive builder in it so you could build your own routes and um, I forgot what I was talking about that's good what was I talking about oh yeah and I was you could like design your own route and I did it once and I built a route it was only like 20 miles long and it took me months to make it to the point where it looked professional like this and even then it was like glitchy as fuck sorry didn't mean to swear I might edit that out, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to make this family friendly, it's not working. Just let people know I'm coming through the station. But yeah, it, it is hard making routes, and someone had to sit there and put all of these things in, like that tower there. Someone had to design that. Why am I stopping? Damn it. I went through a red light or something. Um, I didn't even notice the fact that I was stopping. I, I, perhaps I missed an alarm. Okay, this is not good. Um, 
Will it just let me go now, or do I have to reset the brakes? Let's try it. Come on, move. It's thinking about it. No, it's not going to do it. God damn it. I don't know how to reset the brakes. Um. Ooh. Ooh, it's rolling. Will it let me accelerate? Yes, I did it. Oh, perfect. It only took me 25 million years. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm going to have to check the footage to see what happened, but... Either I was speeding way too much, or I went through a red light, or I missed an alarm. If not, then I don't know. This train is so loud. Holy crap. Let's go back here. It's quiet back here. I can drive from here. It's fine. Actually, that's probably not a good idea. We are coming up on a level crossing. A railroad crossing. Whatever you want to call it. I want to call it a level crossing, okay? And one final honk as we go across. God damn, that was the longest honk in history. Jesus Christ. Right, speed limit 79 again, so let's give this train a bootful. Small honk and big honk. Oh yeah, we are now 10 miles out, so we're getting close, guys. We're getting close. We're in South San Francisco. Those hills are so plain. Oh, I wish the draw distance for trees and stuff was a little bit high. Even if, if it was just like a blur, like an LOD. It'd be better than just a plain hill. At least I, I think it would be. So at least now we're in San Francisco. Send a player. Um, that's how far we got left to go. That's honestly not that far, to be honest. Honest. <laughs> I like saying honest. Honestly, I do. Um, it's starting to get busy now, you can see. There's more buildings, more tracks. There's five tracks here, six. Seven, eight, whatever. Yeah, we are now entering San Francisco, the big city. I don't know what the nickname for San Francisco is. Because, like, New York's the Big Apple. Don't know about San Francisco. Oh, alarm. Didn't miss it. It's fine. Speed limit's going to drop to 70 in a bit, so I'll just accelerate up to about 70. And that should be okay. Yeah, it's really starting to get busy now. Of course, the most amazing thing is I've gone an entire hour without talking about OCRP. Which is surprising. I thought I was just going to sit here and talk about OCRP, but I didn't, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, I really am enjoying OCRP. And I love your guys' suggestions, but there is something I wanted to mention regarding that. Like, I've asked for your guys' suggestions, and some of them are really good. And some of them, I'm not going to say they're bad, because, like, you don't, you guys don't know the rules, so you can suggest things which are against the rules, I'm fine with that. But then, what you've got to bear in mind is it's a roleplay community. So if you do a scenario, it's got to be roleplayable and fair for both sides. Like, I know someone suggested killing a cop, like, just sniping them. I mean, yeah, theoretically I could do that, but then what would be the point? Why would I just randomly snipe a cop? It just doesn't happen in real life. And also, it would just suck for the cop, because one minute they're there, and then the next they just drop dead. And that's just not good roleplay. Like, I appreciate you guys suggesting scenarios, but then you've got to remember that it's got to be fair and roleplayable. It's like another scenario I had was um, go down to Los Santos and do a terrorist attack. No, you, you can't just do a terrorist attack. It doesn't work like that. Because it's like, yeah, terrorist attacks happen. That's a fact. It's a very sad thing, but they do happen. But then, if I was to do that, I would upset a lot of people and... We don't really have the things implemented yet to tackle that, like special SWAT teams and everything, just give him a friendly toot. And it just, it wouldn't be that great, because 
it, it just wouldn't because people would be like hey man that's just insensitive why are you doing that and I know I've had another suggestion be a serial killer go around killing civs again I could do that but then the civs wouldn't be very happy with it and in order for me to pull that off without pissing off a lot of people the people I kill would have to be in on it and that would just take the roleplay out of it because then it would be like hey I'm gonna go kill you can you just stand still for me so and make it easier so I can kill you and the answer to that would just be no don't kill me if you try and kill me I'll kill you so yeah if you guys are gonna suggest something all I ask is think about it first think would that offend people is that good roleplay is it realistic like don't suggest a scenario where I get a dirt bike and try and jump over 50 buses because it'll never happen just think things through before you suggest them because there is a lot of stuff which theoretically is doable and it happens in real life however it's just it's not good roleplay like sniping a cop for example because it just it wouldn't be fun for anyone even for me it wouldn't be that fun because I would just feel bad afterwards I just killed a cop like Anyway, we are getting into San Francisco now. Where's 22nd Street Station? I think that is... I believe it's the next one. It's here. Yeah, 22nd Street Station. That's our next stop, then. We are getting very close to San Francisco now. We're less than five miles out. Which is cool. We're in a tunnel. Um, not really much more to say about that. Tunnels are very long, very dark. You guys know what a tunnel is, so I'm not going to commentate on what a tunnel is. Why am I slowing down? Because i got no throttle. Duh. That probably would help. Especially on a hill. We're not on a hill, but you know. So, welcome to San Francisco. I'm still trying to think of a nickname for it. The Big Pear. It's like the Big Apple, but it's pear-shaped. Welcome to the Big Pear. Five miles out, not even that, four miles out, Jesus. That actually went pretty quick, I'm not gonna lie. Now there's gonna be a sharp, well, not a sharp curve, but a curve here, another tunnel, and I believe then there's. I think 22nd Street is at the end of a tunnel, but I think there's 22nd Street Station, and then there's a tunnel, and then we get into the main station in San Francisco. Not entirely sure though. I wasn't really paying attention yesterday when I was screwing around in San Francisco to test the train. I was just driving like a madman. Which is also fun. Oop, alarm. I still don't know what that alarm is. It's like, what is it? <laughs> Someone tell me what that alarm is. I hope it's not important because I just cancel it when it comes on. 100, 100, what? No, 1.5 miles now to 22nd Street Station. Same again, I'm going to start braking when I'm one mile out. I think that's the best way to do it. Huh, just drawing in the stuff in the distance. Come on computer, you can draw in further than that. Right, let's start slowing, like taking the throttle off full. And I'm just going to apply like 20%, 23% braking maybe. About 24 and just see how it handles that. We'll probably stop a little bit early, I would have thought. Yeah, there's 22nd Street Station. It's like sandwiched between two tunnels. Don't know what highway we're going in there now. As I said, I don't know California that well. Right, we are stopping way too early, so I'm gonna buy a little bit of throttle, and then I'll start braking when we get to the end of the tunnel here like the beginning of the tunnel. That's cool. You can tell how there used to be two tunnels, but then they boarded one up because, I don't know, probably there wasn't enough passenger usage, so they ripped the tracks out and just didn't bother filling in the tunnel. That's cool. It's quite a cool little detail, though. Uh, let's not use engine braking to slow down. 
normal brakes. Come on train. I'm gonna nail this stop and distance. There's another train with a cab end leading. Oh wow, this is quite literally underneath a highway. That's cool. And here's the station here. I'm gonna try and stop in first person at this one. I don't know how that's gonna work. Actually, I think I might nail it. 22nd Street. Which I'm assuming is that road above us over there, maybe? That bridge? How did I do? Uh, change view, change view, come on, change view. Where's the back of the train? You know what? I'm happy with that. Let's stop. I think that's pretty, pretty good. <laughs> Nothing really more to say about that. I think I nailed it. I can't actually see the doors. Are we stopped yet? Why are we not stopping? There we go. And open the doors, let the people on and off. If they actually decide to open. Uh, I can't even see the doors. Alright, we're only 1.6 miles out from San Francisco. And the speed limit is 75. I can tell you that that is not going to last very long. The speed limit is going to drop down in about a mile to, I think, 25. Something like that. So let's just give it 50% throttle to get us into the station. And let's not try and go too fast. Yeah, I think today's been a pretty cool journey. What I was planning on doing, actually, is... Um, there's three routes. There's the German route, the North Wales Coastal, and this route. I was thinking about doing each route and see if you guys like it. If I get a good response, then I don't know, I might buy another route. And uh, if you guys have any suggestions on what route I should get, I'll see what I can do. And um, yeah, that's pretty much what I was going to do. I was going to test out every route and see what the response is. Obviously, if I everyone hates this video, then I won't. But I still think it would be pretty cool because yeah, I got I got this game for twelve pound on Steam. That's like what ten dollars, something like that, fifteen dollars. I don't know. So I thought, you know what, I might as well get it and test it because people did like my videos on Train Sim Twenty Seventeen. That was. Um, one of the main games I played when I first started doing it, um, doing YouTube. So it would be cool to see how people like the newer version of Train Simulator 2017, which is called Train Simulator 2018. So let's just see how they like that. It told me to honk then, but I'm not sure whether it. Ah, there's the level crossing. Speed limit's about to drop down to 25 miles per hour. That's alright though, so we're not accelerating for some reason. Um, no, it's not this one where the speed drops down. Right, it's telling me to honk again for the upcoming speed uh, railroad crossing. Do you know what? I really can't talk today. I haven't long got up in my defence. I had a late night last night, so I got up late. One final blast as we cross the crossing. Oh god, we're speeding. Engine brake. Full engine brake. <laughs> That'll do. And now let's just coast into the station. Very sharp corner coming into San Francisco Station. That's one thing I did notice. We're going to Platform 9, I believe. I don't know how many platforms there are, but San Francisco Station does look pretty big. Nice big curve here. Oops, speed limit drops. I noticed that in time. No, nope, not gonna break. Come on, break. Break, 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 break. I'm not sure we're gonna do it. Ooh, we got a flashing orange. Don't know what that means. It just means that the light's flashing orange. <laughs> don't know what it means. Right, that's good enough. slowed down a little bit too much. Not sure what a flosh, floshing, flashing orange light means. Um, I hope it's a good thing. Which track are we going to? I think we're going to the right, here. Let's see. I assume we're crossing over here. Yep. Wow, 
Wow, 10 miles an hour feels so slow right now. Oh, hopefully we pull into the platform next to that other train this year. That would be pretty cool. I don't think we are though. No, we're pulling into the next platform now. Ah well. So yeah, welcome to San Francisco. San Francisco does look really nice, but as I said, you can't actually see the set, the Golden Gate Bridge from here, unfortunately. Let's go outside view for a little bit. There is the Caltrain. Yeah, trying to get a good angle. Ah well. Caltrain, San Francisco. No, uh, no. What did we start? San Jose, I think. San Jose to San Francisco. Now we're just cruising into the station at a very leisurely 8 miles per hour. Let's try and go a little bit quicker. Probably not a good idea considering the end of the track's right there. Oh, why is my... Oh well. I was in reverse, that's why it slowed down when it accelerated. Also, I think that's a glitch with a light on the back of the train there. Not 100% sure. I know, that doesn't look right to me. Right, we actually genuinely need to start braking now. God damn. Come on, slow down. Do I risk it and see how close I can get to the barrier? I don't know if I have the balls for that. You know what? Here's fine. I'm happy with here. Are we still moving? Yeah, we're still moving. Okay, whatever. Okay, I'm going to be risky and give it a little bit. Ah! Well, I guess that is the end of the scenario. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of this video and I'll see what I can do about making a nev another one. And uh, make sure you come back for the next episode. I will see you then. Peace out, guys.